Over the past couple of days, you have probably heard a lot of talk from the administration about a 50-year mortgage to lower the cost of housing. This is such a bad idea. And, and let me tell you why for two reasons. Number one, I, I did some math. The average cost of a house in the U.S. right now is $364,000. If you put 20% down and took out a 6% mortgage on a, a plain vanilla 30-year mortgage you're looking at a monthly payment of 2289 and total interest paid over the life of your loan of three hundred sixty nine thousand dollars that's right more interest than house well if you stretch that over 50 years yes your monthly payment goes down but only by about four hundred dollars and yet you are going to pay two hundred fifty thousand thousand dollars more in interest. So that's the first reason that this is a terrible idea. But the second is you're never building equity in this home. The nice thing about paying off a mortgage or at least building equity in a property is that when you get far enough down the road toward retirement, what you've built is a supplemental savings account for retirement. You can use the money in that house for all sorts of things. You can use it to downsize and free up some cash. You can use it to buy your way into an assisted living place. You can pull out some money in the form of a refi or a reverse and use it for long-term care expenses. It gives you flexibility and freedom that paying off a loan over 50 years, which let's just be honest, nobody is ever going to do, doesn't.